What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching Bumblebee's Journey. This is just a web series where we talk about the Bumblebee solo film in the Transformers Cinematic Universe. This is episode number 19. First thing I want to do is apologize for the lack of updates, and it's mainly because I've been really, really busy working on other videos. Unfortunately, I have to prioritize those other videos before I do updates for Bumblebee's Journey, but I'm now all caught up, so now we're back to doing updates. Now, the funny thing is that there won't be a whole lot of updates more to be made because Bumblebee has wrapped. Bumblebee has wrapped filming just a little bit over a week ago and they're done. They're done principal photography. The filming for Bumblebee actually started in late July or early August and then it went all the way to mid-November. So essentially they were filming for August, September, October, um, uh, middle of November. So three and a half months. They were doing um, three and a half months of principal photography all around California, mostly in Los Angeles. I uh, think a little bit uh, in Northern California. Uh, but at the end of the day, they were all filming in the California area and this is a much smaller film 70 million dollars production budget and um, four Transformers characters the potential and possibility of Peter Cullen coming back as as we don't really know maybe just a voice or maybe as Optimus Prime or I'm voicing an entirely different character Sector 7 is back and this is just going to be a very very interesting film because it's a whole new direction uh, compared to the last five films so it's something I'm really really excited about but anyways, production is wrapped. They're done filming. So what's next? Post-production. They're probably going to start... I mean, they've already started post-production. But what's very, very interesting is that this film, unlike all the other previous Transformers films, is not released in the summer of 2018. It's released in December. Originally, the original release date was June 8th, 2018. And now they uh, they moved it to December 21st, 2018. This is going to be a Christmas movie. And I think the main reason why they're doing this is, is because they really want to cover their bases in terms of they want to have a really safe release date since this summer was insanely competitive like transformers last night made just under 600 million i think or maybe a little bit 600 million over 600 million in any case it's around 600 million which you know it really is not a huge amount of profit for them i think they just like broke even a little bit i, I think they just broke even and then made a little bit of extra money and you know that's not good enough for them so to make sure that this th this doesn't happen again they don't want to they don't want to release their movie um especially with the negative stigma that it has right now in the summertime in the summertime there's so much competition to the point where this movie is going to get clouded i mean shrouded over with all these other big superhero movies that are more positively reviewed um and uh you know i think the best thing to do for them is to go for um a month uh, to release this movie uh, which has a better track record uh, such as December. December is when uh, a lot of Star Wars films were released or rather just two Star Wars films Rogue One, well, Last Jedi is going to be released uh, next month and of course The Force Awakens and they all came out with really um, uh, huge huge box office results and it's mainly because it's Star Wars but also Lord of the Rings films and Hobbit films have also been released um, in, um, in December but the, that, of course, has its own following, a very, very positive following for the movies. I don't really don't know how uh, a Bumblebee film is going to do in December. A Transformers film uh, is going to do in December because, like, uh, I think it still carries that, that negative energy from the previous film. And just, like, the fact that there's a lot of people who really don't like Michael Bay's Transformers films, which is really, really unfortunate. I don't think there's any good time to really release this, these films, but a one-year wait is a long time. You know, before it was like, oh, this the film has wrapped filming, we just gotta wait um, seven or eight months. Now, we gotta wait an entire year. And the thing is that I wanna watch this movie more than the other ones, just because it's different. It's not directed by Michael Bay. It takes place in the 1980s, and it's a full-on G1-style approach. So that is something exciting, and it's something I'm really, really... Um, uh, you know, really uh, looking forward to, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. Uh, four characters only. So, what does that mean for um, 
Toy Fair. I mean, are we even going to see anything for Toy Fair? Toy Fair, if you guys don't already know, is in February. So are they going to even have any toys uh, to present uh, at Toy Fair for Bumblebee? Maybe not. They might not even have the products ready in time, but uh, who knows? I mean, maybe they will be because, like, originally they were um, they were uh, going to release it in June 8th of 2018, but um, who knows? Um, another thing you got to know is that filming for for Bumblebee it, it was, um, you know, in, in the, um, I guess in the middle of summer as opposed to springtime because all the other Transformers films, the last five Transformers films, always filmed around, like, uh, May or June, and then they went all the way till, like, um, like, September or August. But this time, they started in August and went all the way to November. So with that being said everything has been pushed back which can include the production of toys so i really don't know if they're going to be able to show anything at toy fair and i don't even believe at all they're going to have anything for super bowl so imagine that a transformers film without any toys to present at toy fair and they won't even have anything to show at super bowl no super bowl tv spot because it's not a summer film so if we're going to see any kind of teaser any kind of marketing it will definitely have to be sometime in maybe i thinking late spring you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, it's definitely going to be, uh, everything's going to be delayed. So that's going to be, um, we're going to need a little bit of patience. But, um, you know, I, I don't want the, the whole year to go by fast. I do want to watch this film, but I, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want 2018 to go by too fast. Um, I was just hoping that it would come out sooner, but you know what? I don't blame Paramount. I don't blame Hasbro for wanting to release, uh, release this film a lot later. I just think that, uh, uh you know what? This is a little bit, uh, of a long wait. But you know what? It might all be worth it. This could potentially be the most positively reviewed Transformers film, which essentially means it's a good Transformers film, like an actual good Transformers film that will generally be well received by the public. Um, I'm just thinking with fewer characters, you could have a greater uh, uh, um, character-centric story and and a better story in general. And I just love the fact that it takes place in the 80s. That could really change the whole story dynamics of the film. So there you have it. Anyways, what's next? Well, uh, post-production. So I'm going to still continue this um, web series, Bumblebee's Journey. And uh, whenever there are any post-production updates, like concept art or marketing or toy leaks or whatever, I'm going to cover that. So make sure you stay subscribed to this channel. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We're going to talk about... Um, uh, more stuff i can't really tell you exactly what it is right now but i'll tell you that um um we're, we're doing some change we're making some changes to the uh to the, the raging nation uh we're gonna be uh doing some really different and fun things so make sure you stay subscribed uh and uh keep on watching as always if you enjoyed this review and you want or this uh, video and you want to see more hit that like button subscribe to youtube channel like me on facebook the raging nation also follow me on twitter raging nation my name is Alexi. thanks for watching and see you next time peace